Hey, what up YouTubers? Today, I am gonna show you how to update your software in your Toyota RAV4 2012 in this particular model uh, and save yourself 160 bucks instead of going to the dealership and uh, getting butt raped, I guess is what the is what the proper terminology for is. Now, what you're gonna need is a USB key formatted to a FAT32 and uh, the software in the description below. Now, I found this on the internet. I installed it already in my uh, in my radio system, everything seems to be working fine, much better than the old version 2.1 software that was in there prior. And uh, hopefully, this video stays on for a little bit long to uh, for you guys to take advantage of this situation and uh, save yourself 160 bucks Canadian. That is, I don't know how much it is in the U.S., but us Canadians, we got a fork out. You heard it, 160 bucks to get the software installed in our Toyota RAV4s or any Toyota in the matter with the Entune software. So stay tuned. All right, first things first, take your USB key. Any size will uh, will do. Well, not really any size, but you do need around at least uh, four gigs. In this case, I do have a 16 gig USB key. Uh, put this into your USB port like so. Format it. into a FAT32 file system. Very important, this needs to be FAT32 and nothing cannot be, cannot reside on this drive at all. So format, like so, FAT32 default. And uh, do put a volume label of 14A. It was, uh, from where I downloaded the file, people were saying that uh, the volume label needed to be 14A. So quick format, hit start. And then in the description below, I left you the link where you could download the uh, the 3.2 uh, Entune software. And uh, this will be in a zip file and just unzip the contents and put them into your into the root of the drive. Once it finishes copying over, hit eject. Pop out your USB key. And then with the radio off or on, doesn't really matter now the some people are saying that you need to turn on the vehicle and then insert the, the USB key. It doesn't matter. I just found that uh, my vehicle's been running for the AC because it is really hot out there. Anyway, besides the point. So down here in the console for in this version of, uh, of the Toyota RAV4 Limited V6 uh, 2012, we do have the USB key area. USB can I just put that in there. And then wait a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds and it should pop up now I've already pre-installed uh, uh, my software to make sure that everything was working I hadn't enough time to, to play with it to see that yes there is a big difference with that with this software it is much more quicker especially on Bluetooth and on starting up um, so I'm gonna hit no here but uh, for you folks out there who have uh, um, a, a later version uh, do uh, like version 2.21 or anything like that do click yes um, and remember do not uh, under any circumstances uh, turn off the vehicle while your radio is being updated or else you could totally foobar the thing um, it did take about uh, five minutes to update everything and uh, when it was done it asked to remove the USB key and then everything was functioning normally so here you could see just a little bit of a demonstration so I'll go to my paired device list and you, for a lot of you who have the this version of uh, of the Entune you can see that uh, after the update it is much more quicker um, uh, it's even going through the menus uh, it, it's just really great now this is the um, the Canadian version. Um, I heard the US version has much more apps. Um, the, the one that I downloaded here is from a US site and apparently installing it in my Canadian version only gave me uh, this. So which I already had prior. I didn't have any other software but for you US folks um, don't worry you'll have all your apps and everything else that was on the radio before. So um, happy downloading and uh, and there you go, saved you 160 bucks.